Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Our Facebook ad series is going on. If you want to watch the whole series, you can come to our channel and watch those videos from here. Okay, so in today's lecture, we'll show you how to enable data layer on WordPress. So if you want to set up e-commerce tracking for WordPress site, then you need to enable data layer. So without wasting any time, let's see how we can do it. Okay. So I'll be enabling data layer for this site. So you can see over here, this is an e-commerce site. Okay. So I have set up a Google Tag Manager account for this website, you know. And additionally, I have set up Facebook Base Pixel or Page View event. So in the previous video, I have shown you how to do it. So if you haven't watched the video yet, I would suggest you to watch the video first and then enable data layer. Okay. As you know, this is a WordPress CMS. So we need to go to the admin panel for enabling data layer. So for going to the admin panel, I'm going to enter the website URL over here. Then I'm going to write slash WP minus admin. Okay. Then I'll be enabling data layer using a plugin. So I'll go to the plugin section and I'm going to click on add new. And I'll search for a plugin called GTM for WP. So you can see over here, this plugin. So previously I have installed this plugin. That's why uh, it is telling me to activate this plugin. So in your case, uh, you need to just install the plugin, then you need to activate the plugin. Okay, so I'm going to click on activate. So if I scroll down a little, so in the setting section, I have an option called Google Tag Manager. So I need to enter Google Tag Manager ID over here. So I'm going to copy the Tag Manager ID from here. And I'm going to paste it over here. Okay. So I need to remove all the spaces from here. Okay. Perfect. Then make sure your container code is on. Okay. So if it is off, it will not be working. So make sure your container code is on. Okay. I'm going to click on save changes. Then for enabling data layer, we'll go to the integration section and I'm going to click on WooCommerce. Make sure track enhanced e-commerce is enabled. This check mark is enabled. Okay. So uh, this track enhanced e-commerce will enable the data layer. So make sure uh, this checkbox is enabled. Mine is enabled. Make sure yours are too. And if you want uh, some customer information for improving event mass quality, then you can enable this check mark as well, order data and data layer. So I have already enabled this checkbox. Make sure you are doing too. Okay. I'm going to click on save changes. So data layer has been installed on our website. So for checking whether uh, this is working or not, I'll take the help of an extension called data layer checker, or you can use simple data layer checker. You can use any of them. So let's see whether data layer is working properly or not. Just wait a little bit. I'm going to choose any of these products. So for example, I'm choosing this one. So let's go to the data layer checker. Data layer is loading. Let's wait a little bit. Maybe we can make some product to the add to cart. Okay, let's go to the data layer checker again. Is it still loading? So let's take the help of simple data layer. Okay. So you can see over here, data layer is working properly. So even view item list, e-commerce currency items, event view item, e-commerce currency, value to 200, all the item IDs, item name, item brand, price, category. So everything is working fine. 
so it is working now so you can see view item is working okay e-commerce currency e-commerce value e-commerce item id item name item brand so everything is working fine so yeah this is how you can enable data layer on your wordpress site so that's it for this video hopefully you have liked our video if you like our video then you can subscribe our channel follow our page you have a good day bye bye